Hi, this is the Neo Lucida, or Camera Lucida as it more commonly known. I purchased this a year or two ago uh, through Kickstarter and I've actually never opened the box uh, and tried to use it. Now, if you're not familiar with the Neo Lucida or Camera Lucida, it was patented in 1806 by William Hyde Wollaston, but first described about 200 years earlier by Johannes Kepler. And any of you who know art history would probably be familiar with Johannes Kepler. And Camera Lucida, uh, loosely translated from Latin, uh, means well-lit room as opposed to camera obscura, which is a darkened room. If you'd like to know more about the use in art with uh, the Lucida, uh, you should refer to David Hockney's book, Secret Knowledge Rediscovering the Lost Techniques of the Old Masters. So we'll go ahead and open the box and see what's in there and then we'll maybe try and draw something. So there we have it, it comes in a nice little box uh, with instructions on how you would use it. Some further uh, instructions in this booklet here. A little bit difficult to do this with uh, one hand, but it's uh, a nice little vice grip here. Uh, might be aluminum, but it's of a reasonable weight, and the snake is pretty stiff, so it's not going to be flopping around. And they actually. Give us a pencil. Neo Lucida. I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, we'll uh, set this up and then we'll try and see if we can draw this car. Okay, so I've set the Lucinda up here on a table. It's a glass table. Uh, it's fairly sturdy, but I felt that, you know, this little handle here, it's just like a nail. I, I, I think they could have done a better job using something with a little bit more weight and sturdy because, uh, you know, this just isn't, uh, doesn't seem very reliable. And as you see, it just looks like a, like a nail. Anyway, it works. And the instructions were to place the object that you wanted to draw, you know, about a meter away. So that's roughly about a meter. And then you're supposed to look straight down onto uh, the prism and the object should be reflected onto onto the uh, the glass upside down so I, I'm going to try and see if we can actually uh, see this okay very careful it's kind of moving around so there you see the car that I'm going to try and trace reflected in the prism and uh, this will enable me to trace on the paper so we'll give it a go and see how things are as I said it's kind of difficult to do it with just two hands well as you can see I've got uh, the car set up about a meter away 
And I followed the instructions uh, for the Neo Lucida in an attempt to get the vehicle to show up and it's actually there. However, the instructions say put your eye one inch to the lens and look beyond the lens and you'll see the object projected onto the paper. And I don't see that. Plus, I'm wearing glasses and it just makes it difficult to try and focus on what we're trying to do here. So I'm not having a lot of luck. Uh, although they do have instructions, uh, following the instructions doesn't really clarify uh, the task and troubleshoot what we're trying to accomplish. Now, they did say that the use of a strong light is uh, helpful, but should have even light between the subject and the camera lucida. And I do have that as I'm sitting beside a large glass door. So, you know, I'll continue to plug away at this, but I'm not having a lot of luck and it's a bit disappointing and uh, I must send some feedback to the company in an effort to try and get this clarified. Anyway, it's, uh, it's a nice little unit to explore something new and uh, help the development of it and I understand that you know this one that I've got is basically uh, the the prototype that the first designed and they have since enhanced it um, although I didn't get that as, uh, as an update so I'll sign off uh, having failed at this attempt and I will endeavor to uh, resolve these issues and troubleshoot it so that I can actually do a tracing well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little challenge and something new and different. Bye for now.